I am at Value Village and I am here to see if I can find any vintage items to resell in my Etsy shop, Fifth Avenue Vintage Co. If you're wondering what's in the back seat, we picked up a really cute little mid-century modern coffee table for our country home and I got that throw pillow and Wendell got that sombrero from a yard sale. So I got to bring those out to our country home and I'm going to set up the coffee table there and I will show you what it looks like when it's all set up. So anyways, let's go into Value Village and see what I can find. Pretty bare here today in the knickknack section. Looks like they cleared it all out. Is this a Yadro? No. How about this one? No. Well, not too much over in this section. Maybe they're moving things around. There's a little creamer. It looks like flow blue, but it's made in Japan. Six dollars for that. Our purse section. That's pretty. Twelve dollars though. I don't think I want to spend twelve dollars on it, but it's really cute. I like the rainbow colors. Not seeing too much on this side. Not really digging too hard either though. It's <laughs> a cute little macrame purse. Definitely vintage. Seven dollars though. There's a stain there. Something on it. It's pretty small. I might consider that if it was like $3.99, but not, not for $7. All right, let's go to the hard goods. There's a, that's a hobbyist piece. It's got a nice glaze on it though. I'm gonna put it in my cart. I'm not sure I'm gonna grab it or not, but I'll put it in my cart anyway. Yeah, so I just spotted this little deer. Oh, it's got a chip on it, a couple chips, and this should have a little temperature gauge on it. I do already have one of these listed in my shop, so I'll leave that one. I'm gonna have a look at this. Mm. It's pretty, but five fifty. It's a little southwestern wedding vessel. A large southwestern piece. It's pretty big though. I don't think I want to ship that. Crackle glass vases. What do they want for those? Four fifty each. There's anything amazing on here. There's a Pyrex bowl set. 
It's only sixteen dollars. Why is it only sixteen? I did grab this Pyrex set. It's the complete set for $16. I'm going to look it over better, but it looks like it's in really nice condition. That's a really good price. Just spotted some Miller Studio Chalkware, $5.99 for two pieces. They do have a little bit of chipping on them though. It's quite a bit of chipping. That's too bad. So it is senior day today, I forgot. So it's a little bit crazy in here. Hopefully I can get some enough footage. It's pretty busy. It's an interesting cup or mug. Just one though. Dollar ninety-nine each. Those are nice. Little, probably for cappuccino maybe. Century modern little plant holders. So, oh, that's just ew. <laughs> ew. <laughs> that's something greasy. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's greasy though. Oh, gross. Alright, so I'm gonna grab the greasy mid century modern candle holder. I also picked up some faux lemons and limes for photographing some of my items that I'm selling for display purposes. There's a couple glass pumpkins. I think if it was closer to Halloween I would pick those up but those are quite large and I have to store those somewhere in my house. And I'm running out of room. Oh, is this Le Creuset? Hmm. I'm not, oh, they want $20.99 for it though. Is it Le Creuset? Oh, it's Belgium. I don't think I want to spend $21 on it though. A cute little retro coffee canister, $3.99. Made in England. It's got chip on it. Oh, it's got a chip on the bottom. Well, that's a bummer. <laughs> Look at this coffee and tea. Lots of wear on the paint, though. Cute. Two ninety nine each. It's too bad there's so much wear. That's a bummer. Finding all this great stuff, but it's got chips. And there's a flower one. It doesn't have the cork stopper though. Japan. These are interesting. This one's fine bone china. Royal Stewart. Is that a is that a salt shaker or 
I'm not sure. Hmm. That's pretty. Look, how much is it? Oh, there's salt in it. Oops. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm going to put them in my cart and uh, look them up and see if they're worth picking up. They probably will charge me $1.99 for the rose one. All right, I made my way to the art. These are tiles, pottery tiles, $7.99 for three. Let's have a look at them. Arte Prima. Wow, those are really pretty. I think I am going to grab those. Alright, let's see if there's any other art here. I think that's all for the art here. Just going back through the mugs again because it was kind of a traffic jam when I first came through. It's just really nice vintage mug. This day is made for you. Made in Taiwan, so it is vintage. It's only $1.99. Grab that. Right, and I have a look through their lamp section. That's an IKEA lamp. Where does that get plugged into? That's unusual. I don't know where you plug that into, though. It's different. Don't tell me it's worth a million dollars. lamps I gotta have. There's some vintage ones, but that one's huge. Let's see if there's any little furniture pieces on the other side. These are really cute. Wicker hamper. This is definitely older. My guess is 1940s or 50s maybe. I'm gonna see how much they want for it. Vintage sewing basket. It's pretty clean. This piece is broken off. And there's a broken piece there. And they want $10.99, so I'll leave that one. So this is everything that I'm going to get. I'm actually going to put this piece back because it is a hobbyist piece. It's $5.50. I don't see a lot of resale value in that. So I'm going to get these little shakers, these pottery wall art, this filigree tray, mirrored tray, this vintage coffee mug mid-century modern candle holder and these Pyrex mixing bowls. I can't remember this pattern. Is that woodland? I don't know for sure. Might be woodland. So those are $16 and this is $7.99. These are $7.99. This, I think, is $3.99. This doesn't have a price, but I'm sure they'll give it to me probably for $1.99. $1.99 for this. And $1.99 for this. And then I'm putting that back. 
and these are for myself, $4.99. Well, I did not too bad in there. I think my total was $39 and some change. I did have a 20% off coupon, so I saved $9 with the coupon. And I found some pretty good stuff today. It was really busy. I forgot it's Senior's Day today. So it's a little busy, but um, I did manage to find a few great vintage items to resell in my Etsy shop. And now I'm gonna go to the other Value Village. I don't know why, but I'm gonna do it. So that'll be in the next video. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new and you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video and leave a comment down below. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.